Great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised. In the city of our Yah, in the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Yah is known in her palaces for a refuge, for his mighty, for this mighty one is our Yah forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Hallelujah. Bless y'all, saints. Hallelujah. For this is the day that Yah has made. Hallelujah. Let us be hallelujah. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Let us greet one another, saints, as our custom is. Bless y'all.
And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mizraim and all the house of slavery. Do not have any other mighty ones against my face. Do not make for yourself a carved image, only likeness of that, which is in the heavens above, or which is on the earth beneath, or which in the waters under the earth. Do not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh Elohim, am a jealous El, visiting the crookedness of the fathers on the children, to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but strong love and commitment to thousands of those who love me and guard my commands. Do not bring the name of Yahweh Elohim to naught, for Yahweh does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to naught. Remember the Sabbath day to set it apart. Six days you labor and shall do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh Elohim. In it, not do any work, you, nor your son, nor a daughter, nor a male servant, nor a female servant, nor a cattle, nor a stranger who is within your gates. For in six days I made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, you bless the Sabbath and sit apart. Respect your father and your mother, so the days are prolonged upon the soil, which our home is giving you. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness against your neighbor, do not cover your neighbor's house, do not cover your neighbor's wife, do not his male servant, do not his female servant, do not his ox, do not his donkey, whatever belongs to your neighbors. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody hear me all right? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah, family of Yah. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom. I pray all is well with the righteous, and it should be. Should be. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Day by day, we're understanding more and more how blessed a people we are. We're living in a time like no other time where everything is vying for your conscience and your consciousness. But I thank Yah in this time and this hour that He's raising up His people to make a presence. There's a war going, there's a war already taking place, and then there's a war in the future. When the people of Yah, the sons of Yah, are going to go against the order of this world. And it's destined to go that way. Because the dividing line is coming about. Those that are going to serve the Hasatan and those that are going to serve the Most High Yah. Lines being drawn day by day by day, and every one of us that are filled with this spirit know this. Know this is a, a, a great and uh, quickened awareness of this as days go on, as we look upon the horizon and we see everything that's taking place. We know. The people of Yah know, and they are not ignorant. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our blessed Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Messiah, we thank you and praise you for another rest day, Most High, that we can rest in you, because it's your rest, Most High. We pray as a people, Most High, you continue to feed us with your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. As we live in a very wicked world, and it's getting darker day by day by day. Gross darkness is almost here, Most High. Your word that will guide our feet, guide our eyes, guide our ears. Everything about us will be guided by your word. Let us this day, most high, incline our being to hearing you and what you have for us. As you have laid a bountiful table for us, most high, Yah. And this we do give you honor always and glory in the wonderful name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, hallelujah, amen. Y'all may be seated. Because definitely the war is in a rage. And we thank Yah for that. 
And as saints of Yah, we are not troubled. We are not perplexed. We are not dismayed. Should not be. As every war, every temptation, every fight, every trial, that should be an encouragement. And Most High Yah is always working on our thought patterns. Whereas we used to live all our lifetime in death. Now he's constantly got a river of life trying to wash that mind, trying to wash that heart, trying to remove us from our former purposes. And I thank God for his life. As I go on in this walk so many years, I have found out there is no life but his life. And it's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Yah is awesome. Hallelujah. But it says, but we see Jesus. And we should see him. Why? Because he's within. We see him not only within us, within others. Hallelujah. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. Why? 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 This Messiah, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, to be made like unto us. You know, thinking about that, it's like, whoa. Here you are, the Almighty, and you're looking down upon your creation and now you want to be your creation. You want to put on flesh, the same flesh that you created, now you're going to put it on. Because Messiah was given children. I and the children which Yah has given me. And every time I look at that, that just floors me. Floors me to be a child of the king, given from the foundation of the world. Yeah. For such a time as this, we could have been birthed in the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s. Now we're born in this time, a time like no other time. And you got to sit back and just, you know, just in a sense, marvel at it and meditate on it. Like, what are you doing, Most High Eye? Even so much, you know, the angelic hosts themselves are just looking down at the thing going, what is he doing? What is he doing? You know, this is a great thing that's going on. It's wonderful in our eyes, and then we see a system being brought up out there in this world that hates the very creator. The voice of the false prophet is already out. Blaspheming his name, blaspheming his temple, blaspheming his people on every front. And we think we need a literal person to be a false prophet. No, it's a voice. The spirit went out. Because John was in the spirit on the master's, on the Lord's day. And he saw all these things. And here we are in this current of time now. Seeing all this come to pass, this, this book we, we have in front of us, we see more and more how flesh it became. How we see it working in us. The body of Christ now, the assembly. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. Why? For the suffering of death? Yes. Death came in because of sin. And because of one man's disobedience, it passed upon all the creation. And we see in our time, in, the, in our hour, how the creation is groaning and travailing now with earthquakes and volcanoes and tornadoes and tsunamis and just all kinds of just ecological disasters. 
Because the sons of Yah will be manifested. The wine press will go forth and, and press out the, the precious, precious juice out of the fruit. And, and that's the thing that is in us that we don't see when trial and tribulation and everything, when the press is on us, then that's when we can be our best. Because we got to get, get, get the juice out of the fruit. Juice out of the fruit. We know our Yah is a good husbandman. On every point we have this witness, we have this testimony. He is a mighty Elohim. And day by day I understand. And more is more and more is added to this mighty. How great he is. How he's supplying all uh, of his needs. All of my needs. His needs. My needs. According to his riches and glory. And the more I meditate on it, and the more I meditate on it, yes, I've got to drop to my knee. I've got to drop. Sometimes in pure joy, and then the goodness, the goodness shining, and it, it reveals something dark, some, some ugly, something unrighteous in me, down to the knee. Messiah, we see Jesus who is made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. This whole world out there has its own apothecary and, and its own system trying to keep people from the fear of death. Because many of us, all our lifetimes, we were subject to this bondage until one came in. One came in. That while we was living up all of our lives in our partings and our frivolities and, and everything, he was on the tree. He was on the tree. For you. For me. And I look at that while I was yet in my sin. Messiah was dying. I'm like, oh, yeah. For the suffering of death for his children. Ah. And the children which Yah has given me. I and the children. And I thank Yah that I can be a child. And the more and more I understand, you know, as being a child of Yah, especially with a background of no father that now I have a heavenly father. Yes. Because you see in this world now many, many children, many seeds are being cast out with no fathers. And now the spirit of Yah is drawing back the hearts of the children to the father and the heart of the father back to the children. All this going on from, from the beginning of time for the children, for the children, for the children. For Yah's purpose, for Yah's pleasure. He's doing a mighty work and he's included us in it. But well, we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Crowned. Our Messiah was crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death. And we're going to get crowns if we suffer. Because you always heard, you know, if you don't go through nothing, if you don't fight nothing, how are you going to be able to reign? Where is the experience? If you shun away from the suffering. You move yourself out of the trial and said, I can't go on with this no more. I'm trying to walk this out. Yeah, that's the problem. You are trying to walk it out. Yeah. 
But I, I see in the report there was one that went on me, had footsteps. He was walking the walk for me even before I was conceived. Before you was conceived. Messiah was out there suffering, suffering, suffering. But he loved it. I said, behooved, that word behooved. I'm like, whoa. Behooved him to be made like unto his brother. To be made a little lower, a little lower than the angels. Crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of Yah should taste death for every man. And not every man is going to receive him. And that's going to be a hell of a condemnation. Even in our daily walks. Hallelujah. Hebrews, and again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which Yah has given me. Psalm 8. Here we go. David, in his intimacy with the Most High Yah, he being a child of the king as well, a king being a child of the king. It says, O Lord, our Lord, O Yah, our Elohim, how excellent is your name. Excellent in all the earth who has set your glory above the heavens. And he said, out of the mouth of babes, out of the mouth of the children and sucklings, says, has you ordained strength? We've been ordained strength. Why? Why? Because of your enemies. You've been ordained strength. And why do many of us seem to not to cleave? Not to reach out for this benefit that has been given to us. We know we have enemies. Yeah. One time we were enemies of the Most High Yah. But now we are the friend of Yah and that world out there. That's our enemy. They have a mighty one who wants to be like the Most High Yah. So in all his perversions, contortions, ugh, but it must be so. Must be so. Because Yah said he's going to let it go. Because even in what he's doing, it's still in the boundaries. There's still a shore there that by a perpetual decree that he cannot pass. But the Most High Yah is wise, very wise, knowing that he's letting this creature go forth and do his biddings. And he just sits back and watches this creature in this time and this hour ramping up the destroying of himself. That is, it's prophesied that he's going to let that fire kindle inside of the Hasatan. He's going to let it burn. And Hasatan and all his pride and all his arrogance, yeah, he's going to keep adding to that fire, adding to that fire to the appointed time when it shall consume him. Hallelujah. 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 Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has you ordained strength because of your enemies. That you might have steal the enemy and the avenger. They said, when I consider 
your heavens, most high. When I consider the heavens and, and the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. And he says, what is man? What is man? What is man that you are so mindful of him? What is man that he had visited us in this manner, in this time, in this hour, with many reports? The reports have went to and fro from one end of the earth to the other. And he's going to make sure that his word reaches to the uttermost that everyone will not, everyone will be without excuse in that day. What is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him? For you, O oh most high, have made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor. And you made him to have dominion. And the people of Yah need to step into that dominion as one. As the troops out there, they're rallying. The Hasatan is rallying his minions. Even though they, they're all going to be against one another, they're still going to be of one mind, the mind of the Hasatan. But it is written, it is written, it is written. It's taking Yah but no surprise what is going on because he has orchestrated it. Why? For the children. For the children. For the children. That created beings you know, stood up within himself and said in his own heart, I will be like the Most High Yah. And he sold and, and defecated and, and destroyed that place in heaven. And when he was cast out and his angels with him, there was a void there. Most high, I saw the void. The sun saw the void. He said, I need children. I need children. I need children to, to, to feel. And he says, in the volume of the book it is written of me, O Yah, to do thy will. And the volume of the preachers and the volume of the teachers and the volume of the prophets, evangelists, going forth throughout all the earth, through all time, bringing forth the report. And all this, and in the median of time, the question went, who has believed our report? To whom is the arm of Yah revealed? And it's been revealed to each and every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This creator with an outstretched arm continually? Yes. yes. Like the hand that feeds you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. And if we realize that all things under his feet, then that thing, you know, is joint heirs with Messiah. Children of Yah, let it click. All things under our feet as well. Now let this soak into your consciousness. That when the world is going to crap, or a more uh, explicit word, going to shit, that we, the people of Yah, are going to stand firm. 
We will. Something about, in all his suffering, he was taking the children and lifting them. While he was lifted up, and while we were sinners, we were still being lifted up. Just the children of Yah. Because there was a purpose that he was on that tree for. To destroy the works of the Hasatan, to destroy the works of the devil. Because Messiah looked down and saw how his children were in agony, in bondage to this death. Tears rolling down out of his eyes. You know, just, just the, the full manifestation of love looking at the, the thing, the, the people which Yah had given him. And just have the testimony, I'm going to make intercession for those. <laughs> intercession for the suffering of death. He poured out his soul unto death, just like many of us in fellowship with his sufferings when we find ourselves in so many agonies. We pour out our soul unto death that like it sometimes our only English words cannot say what is prevalent for the time, for the hour. But the spirit within us, it has a language. It has a tone. It has an honoring that can reach the Father. And all things are under our feet. I know right now it's given to Esau, but in the end of all things, this is going to Israel. It is written. This is all sheep and oxen. Yeah! And the beast of the field, the fowls of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through in the pass of the seas. Oh, Yah, our Elohim, our excellence is thy name in all the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for this cause. For this cause. For this cause. For this cause, cause, cause and effect, effect and cause, for this cause, cause, a person or thing that gives rise to an action, person or thing that gives rise to phenomenon, person or thing that gives rise to condition. It's a principle, aim, our movement that because of a deep commitment, commitment, deep, 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 how deep is Yah in us? Or are we just allowing him to have certain accesses to certain rooms? Come on. In times past, we let the Hasatan consume our whole being without no resolve. Without no resistance. And now here we are on this side of light and walking in life. And there's still places in our abode that we have shut off to the Most High God. Why? Why? What is the cause? What part of the report have you not believed? Most High has his arm continually reaching out. Well, I don't see his arm, but you hear his word. Do you hear the admonishing, the rebuke, your rebuke and reproof 
the admonishing and the exhorting, the arm of Yah being extended, light coming in, but there's something in us going, oh no! And we resist. Oh, hallelujah. Cause a principle, aim, or movement that because of a deep commitment, one is prepared to defend or advocate. Our Messiah, huh? Mediator. A person or thing that acts, happens, or exists in such a way that some specific thing happens as a result, the producer of an effect. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians, chapter 3. Paul said, for this cause, I, Paul, and I can say, for this cause, I, Teacher Shane, for this cause, Pastor Corey, for this cause, Elder Rufus, and so forth and so on. Elder Donnie, Teacher Eric, Deacon Bell. Hallelujah. I, for this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner, the prisoner. How many of us are really glad to be called a prisoner of Yah? of Messiah. One time we was a prisoner to this world, wasn't we? And we lived it up and we showed it. Full manifestation. Why can't we manifest in Yah the same way and we manifest it out there? What is going on? What is the cause? Or what cause has you sitting in the chairs? For what cause has, has it, within us someone going to, trying to go to sleep during the word? What cause is your mind elsewhere than here, than beside the word? For what cause are you not resting and not entering into his rest? Some to consider the cause, the cause. At the beginning of all things, Messiah was considering us in the beginning. Set all things in array after this being did what he did in Shemayim in heaven. The work had to go forth. A testimony of love had to be manifested. Why? Why? Why are we caught up in this testimony? Why not? Why not? Many people living life and going on in their life and not knowing what they were created for. Why they're in so much sorrow and unbelief and guilt and shame and condemnation. Why they have to go to the weak and beggarly elements of drugs and alcohol and such like crap to fill the void. They don't understand the void that is in them. All the pain and all the sufferings and all the traumas. As they suffer being a prisoner of the Hasatan. A hard taskmaster. As the way of a transgressor is hard. Day by day in our former times, oh, that whip was on our back. Day by day, cracking. Pow. We're all obeying it. What about now? What about now? 
Moshe Haya moves us into so many places. He's taken us out of situations that we thought no way out. Just think. Some of us have been in situations where we ourselves had what, 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 what? And during all that time, that situation, there was one on the tree. For this cause, for this cause, for this cause. Commending his love toward, commending love toward us that while we was yet in sin, The magnitude of this relationship, the honor of of being part of this covenant, the beauty of the upcoming marriage supper of the Lamb. A place prepared for his children Why not let him prepare you for the place? Because they've lied about our Elohim. And some of these lies still remain in us. There's certain fears that still lurk in our minds and in our hearts that's keeping the hand of Yah short from reaching some of you. Some form of doctrine. Some form of belief that stays the hand of Yah. What cause? What cause? At any time, most high eyes, your, your hand stayed. Your healing not gone forth. Your cleansing not made apparent. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. If you have heard, if, 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 if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of Yah which is given me to you, word. How that by revelation he has made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote, a four and a few words, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Messiah, the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known. Hear that, which in other ages was not made known. We're talking about after the resurrection of Yeshua. All before that time, this was a mystery. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. What? That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of His promise in Messiah, in Christ, by the gospel. Then Paul said, For this cause whereof I am made a minister. For this cause, therefore, you are made a vessel of the Most High Yah. For this cause, therefore, you are a child of Yah. Wherefore I am made a minister according to the gift of the grace of Yah given unto me, by the effectual working of His power. Notice these key words, His. Every time I read, you you notice how I make heightened sense to certain words, and it's there to grasp the conscience, to grasp the hearing, to bring, you know, clarity, to bring attention to that. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, Made a little lower, huh? Is this grace given 
that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable, the unsearchable riches of Christ. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the ministry, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in Yah, who created all things by Jesus Christ. To the intent, what? For this purpose, to the intent, for this purpose, to the intent, that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the assembly, by the church, the manifold wisdom of Yah. He wants us to know something. He wants us to understand all things put under His feet. The power He has given us all principalities and powers. And why we toil day by day with such small spirits. When you can have the testimony when that spirit presents itself, you can be in the higher place than that spirit. Because Messiah always has given us the advantage of the upper ground. If we can understand militarily what was going on while he was yet on the tree for the suffering of death, while he was pouring out his soul, while he has us to pour out our soul, so we can cry like he cried. Love like he loved. Because now, you know, I've entered and I experienced it with it and now I am one with my Messiah in this experience. When I cast out a devil and see it flee, hallelujah! Things that trouble me in time past don't trouble me no more. Sometimes we get bold enough within ourselves and say, bring it on! Oh. That's what Messiah did. Everything was all around him. Everything was attacking that outward visage. They marred him. They distorted him. That there was no similitude of any man that we should desire him. And I'm glad that he took that body and done it in that manner so that he can rip it in twain, put it upon that tree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a highway of holiness for us. There's lots going on there. That the sacrifice for the suffering of death for his children went through. Oh, hallelujah. According to the eternal, 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 eternal purpose, which he purposed in Messiah, Jesus, our master, in whom we have both, in whom, in whom, we. Who are the we? 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 Yes, are the we? Yes, As reports going forth, yes, many testify, yeah, I'm a whited sepulcher. Have all the, the nice adornments and, and, and outward riggings and, and the makeups and, and the earrings and the, and the neck chains and all that. But inwardly, you cast out a devil, raise the dead. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. You got a form? According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Master, in whom, in whom we have boldness 
and access. We have boldness and access with confidence by His faith. And Paul says, wherefore I desire that you faint not. Faint not. Faint not. And the Word tells us, the report tells us, faint not in well-doing for in due time. If you remain, you shall reap. Wherefore, my desire, Peter Shane's desire for you, that you faint not at my tribulations for you. Why? Because it's your glory. Not for me. It's for you. I, he said, I'm dying in this flesh. You see it dying. Just for that you can live. Same thing was going on in Messiah. The first fruits paving the way, making the crooked path straight. And Paul is doing nothing but continuing the vision. One vision, one vision, one mind, one faith, one baptism. One, 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 one father of us all, one that is in us all and through us all. For this cause, again, Paul says, for this cause, for this cause, I bow my knees. He says, I do it lovingly. I do it gratefully. Thank you, Most High God, for the experience. Because as Messiah testified, it was not about me. Everything you see me do, I see my father do. He sent me to do the work. And everything I do, I do it for you. Yeah. Paul's re- re- reverbing the same thing. Same thing going on in this time and this hour. Trying to raise up the assembly of Yah as one. It's, it's a work like no other work has been done through the annals of time. If we just humble ourselves, continually stay on the potter's wheel. Even in this time, this hour, water is being applied to the clay. Rebuke might come and that clamp might get hard because there's something in that clay that he don't like. There's a lump in that clay that's got to be mashed. Because the Most High God has a vision for that vessel. And the Most High God has a vision for this vessel. I implore us not to faint and get get out of the Master's hands. Let Him do with you trust in Him. Yah, with all your might, lean not to your own understanding. He is the director of your path. He is the truth, the way, and the life. No one else is coming into the Father, only by Him. Oh, hallelujah. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Master, Yeshua HaMashiach, for our Lord Jesus Christ. Of whom, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That he would grant you. That he would grant you. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. His glory. To be strengthened, be strengthened, be strengthened. With might by his spirit. Where? In the inner man. This is at this hour, man is perishing. Like Paul said, I understand what's going on now. I know this thing is growing old. 
It's dissolving. It's only temporary. Understand that flesh is going to serve the law of sin. But Most High Yah has equipped me in my mind and in my heart with His law to honor Him, to serve Him, to praise Him. It's not so much as keeping the law and we forget how much the law is keeping us. Because if this is the covenant that he will make with them after those days, everything, the, uh, the whole essence of my being, I am love, y'all says I am love. I've wrote it upon laws, upon precepts, upon statutes. It's no longer you have to look upon two tables of stone no more. While it was on that tree, he was putting it in your heart and in your mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I find myself many times during the day upon that tree. And I've got to. Got to be on that tree. I've got to have my cup filled with Yah. Because I know if it just goes down one eighth, that gives them a little place for the hearts of time. Yeah, all day long, wine and dine with your lover. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's always had the desire to lift us up. Because we have that desire to lift him up, we lift him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. And you can't outgive him. The more you lift him up, the more he lifts you up. The more he lifts him up, the more he lifts you up. Fellowship. 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 We are not failures. We are not victims. We are the children of Yah. Hallelujah. Oh, we here, all right. Hallelujah. Hey, and time coming, this world's gonna know. They here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, bless y'all. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, yeah. Lift him up. Be lifted up. Extol him on high. Magnify his name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Almighty God. Almighty God. Almighty God. Oh, yeah. This is life. 
This is life. The one more abundant life. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you, being rooted and grounded in love. Like he said, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like the tree planted by the waters. Oh, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. In Jesus, my Messiah, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always a joyful noise. Coming from within. Because he said, yeah, I'm going to come in the midst of the assembly and declare your name, O Most High Yah. Keep declaring your name. Hallelujah. That Messiah may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you being rooted. Rooted. And grounded in love. For Yah is love. Let's be grooved. Mm. Let us cleave to our Father. And when you're rooted and grounded in love, that you may be able to comprehend with all saints. What is the breadth? What is the length? What is the depth? What is the height? He's more than just a paper of Messiah. More than just a picture on the wall. He has breadth, he has length, he has depth and height. And to know the love of Messiah, the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of Yah. This is a report to fill his children. Now, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly Above all that we ask or think, according to the working of the power that works in us, unto him, unto him be glory in the assembly. By Messiah, by Christ Jesus, throughout all ages, world, this world without end. Amen. Amen. Oh, he's given us just a little taste of the eternal. Just a little taste of the powers of the eternal. An honor and an entrance to walk in real love. Real life. Real peace. And all such like. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Again, what is, it, what is it in us that stays the hand of the Most High? What is it? The beautiful thing about being delivered. That Christ said he came for his children to deliver, to deliver, to deliver, to deliver. These things that stays his hand. 
because Messiah was with the Father and he loved his Father and his Father loved him. And his desire is that that same love be in us as a people, as an assembly. That we get to a place where no longer we're looking on the outward, but we're knowing each other by the Spirit. The same fellowship that he had from the beginning gives you power to have the same. So what it is in us that stays the hand of the Most High Yah? And that's a personal question. A very personal question. Very question of meditation, a supplication to go before the Most High Yah and ask Him, Most High Father, and don't do it like a block prayer. This is like something you wrote down on a paper and you're just reading verbatim like you're reading off a teleprompt to the Most High Yah. No, it's beautiful when you have that liberty and that freedom to pour out your heart. To pour out your heart without reserve, without fear, without no resolve, without no hold back, not thinking to the left, who's hearing this and who's looking at that? Hell no! It's in the intimacy time with y'all. Everything else has got to fall away. We got to get desire as a child of Yah in our in our closet to be to be lifted up into that secret place with Him. And then once you get in that secret place, that that devil can't touch you. That devil can't talk to you. No temptation during prayer. If only we just pour out our soul unto death like Messiah. So that once that soul and, and it's crying out and travailing, the most high eyes here are starting to incline and starting to look down. You got his attention now. Because it's simple as a child of you. I just think when you was a child, when someone was picking on you and mom and dad was around, especially when dad was around, when your father was around, come on. Someone was picking on you. Someone was fighting with you. What'd you do? You go run back behind father and start pointing. He's doing this to me, dad. He's doing this. He's doing this. He's doing this. See, our Heavenly Father wants us to run to Him in the same like manner. Run behind Him, grab, grab, cleave to Him, and just start pointing. That devil's doing this. That devil's doing that. And the Most High God says, Oh, yeah. Now I can be a real father in this time, in this instance. I can now avenge. He is the true avenger. He will pay back righteously. All we've got to do is just go to him and, and make our supplications known. But what, what's in you that's holding the hand of Yah? To be a child of the king, to approach him with reverence and honor. There's no longer no veil there. Now, then even this has got to go on between us. The veil's got to be rent between each and every one. All of us have put veils between one another. And we view each other with different veils. When Messiah was up on that cross destroying that enmity, that thing that was dividing us, we, we are not a divided nation. We are not a divided people. They are out there. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is it 
in us that stays the hand of the Most High. Romans 7. Here's Paul being so translucent, transparent. For us, bearing his soul in words. And we look at it and we read. It's a beautiful thing that if we have experienced such a thing, we, we can relate with Paul. So much in this word that has become flesh, we are so related to. And day by day, the more we relate ourselves to that, the more and more it consumes us, which it should, which it should. That's why I say keep your cup full of Yah, day by day by day. Yeah. Got to keep your cup full because throughout the day, you're going to thirst. Yeah, sir. And you're going to have to take a drink. Yeah, but when you take a drink, there's a portion that's going to be gone. So somehow, some way, it's going to take a praise. It's, it's going to take a thank you, Most High. Something. Spirit will let you know how to fill that cup back up. So when the time comes, when you are thirsty, you, oh, bless you, Most High, y'all. You have provided all of my needs according to your riches and glory. And I lift it up towards heaven, and I give you thanks. Yes. Word there to quench my thirst. Hallelujah. 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 Romans 7. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would... That do or not. But that, that, that thing I hate, I find myself doing it. Mm. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law. That it, the law is good. That law is good. When I find myself doing things that I would not, things I hate to do, I find myself doing them. And I come to this conclusion. Now then, it is no more I. I, I why am I downing myself? Why am I bringing myself into condemnation? Why am I calling myself a failure? Now then, it is no more I that do it. It's sin that dwells in me. Coming to that revelation like, whoa. We come to that revelation is like, whoa. And Paul's starting to understand how much he's being lifted up above that sin, even though he knows it's there. He's still above it. He knows death might be working in him at any time in the hour. He's still lifted up. We are above death. If so be that we have went through the second death, that old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You're a new creature in Messiah. And the people of Yah need to really embrace this new creature. Yeah. New creatures with new features. Not the features of old, no. No. Paul says, I know that is in me, that is in my flesh, 
in me, in my flesh. It just, there's no good thing dwelling there. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for that knowledge, yeah. most high. Uh. You know, that's, that's the better way of looking at it instead of, you know, going to the way of death and going, uh, it's in me. And most high eye is going to condemn me and, and throw me to a lake of eternal fire. I'm no longer his son. And, I, I, and kick rocks and kick cans and still walk down the road. And, and, and then there's a six-foot ditch where somebody can lay some pipe in right after you. And, and you st- face dragging the ground. He was not on the tree for that. No, I remember a time when he was bearing his tree and going through the whole city and everyone deriding him and spitting him and plucking him. And And he said, I had to go outside of that city. And many of us still ain't going outside of the city. But if you are going to die daily, you must go outside of the city. It's a, it's, it's, it's a unique thing that you've got to go out of the body of Christ to sin. But you can't get your butt out of the city. That's what it's Paul telling you. You can get your butt out of the flesh. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwells no good thing. He says, I know what to do. The will is, it is present with me. I know, I know, I know. But how to perform that which is good? Now I don't find it. I can't manifest it. I got the instructions, but my hands, my feet, my eyes, my mouth, my ears, they're not proclaiming it. It says, for the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it with what? Sin that dwells in me. I thank Yah for his son. Providing a way for us. When we are tempted, there's a way of escape. A man. For his children, tempted in all points like we are tempted. The sole purpose of experiencing. So that we can experience. And to go through it without sin to the end point that that body that he walked all that time on that earth can be sacrificed and put on a tree and then once it is bound, the hands bound, the feet bound, it can't move, that flesh has nowhere to go. Condemn the flesh in it. And just think, you know, that sinless body all of a sudden now becomes a sponge for our sin, our iniquity, our transgression. A man who was just whipped and beat beyond recognition for us, for his children. And the very instrument that he would be impelled on, he, he labored with it through the city to, to get outside of the gates. And to take that body and allow it to be harnessed to that instrument. Still sinless. And then allow all our sin, all our iniquities, and all our transgressions be transferred to it. And he he kept it alive. That body alive when it should have died right after this, that demolishing. 
Should have died then, but no, he kept that flesh alive to a point. Kept that body alive to a point. And all the sin, all the iniquity, all the transgression was laid upon that body. So he can say the final words, it is finished. And he gave up the ghost. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For well, I delight in the law of Yah after the inward man. Go on, pass that a little bit. But I see another law in my members, warned against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of the sin which is in my members. And he comes to the full conclusion, Oh, wretched man that I am! Who? Cry out, who? Shall deliver me from that body, the body of this death, this sin that is in my flesh, that body, that body, that body? Who's going to deliver me? I thank y'all. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, he's travailing and he says, I thank y'all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior. So in the conclusion of it all, he said, Paul, so, so, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yah. I understand with the flesh the law of sin. Now I know my enemy. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm saying, our flesh, my flesh is calling out for this. And many times throughout the day it's calling out for so many things. This thing you know when you, you're in a bad mood. And a brother and a sister comes to you in a certain manner, you know, and they might be entailed in some kind of other work or something and everything, and, and you discern a look upon them that is against you, and you're like, why they look at me like that? You know, why she say that? Why did he say that like that? You know, all this stuff that goes on between us. The thing, it must go on the iron, sharpening the iron, and let the iron sharpen the iron. So we get to the understanding that we are, yeah, true brothers and sisters. Yeah, we're going to have quarrels. We're going to have spats. We're going to have disagreements. But still, in the end of it all, we're still going to love, and we should still remain in love. And get to the, the bottom of the matter. And, and instead of, you know, trying to accuse your brother or your sister, step back in yourself and say, Whoa! For what cause am I doing this? For what cause did I see this? What is it? it what is it? It is in me that's binding me from her love, from his love. Yes. Oh, yes. What can I find in Messiah to loose oh. love between me and my brother, me and my sister? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Am I going to bind that ungodly thing in me to the appointed time of getting it out. Or I'm going to let it have free reign. Consider, consider, consider. My flesh is calling out for this. Start discerning this flesh more and more and more on yourself. Not other people's flesh. We're good, we're good at discerning other people's flesh. 
But we forget, you know, you know, the same measure you judge, it's going to be me back to you again. All this Messiah on the tree for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mystery that had been hidden from the ages. From time to time, you got this, this Hasatan behind a curtain. Peekaboo, peekaboo. When Christ Messiah come, what came down? That damn curtain that he was hiding behind. You told me in the beginning, my son was naked. Now look at you, Hasatan. Now you are naked. He got nowhere to hide now. That middle wall partition is gone. The light, the whole light feels. We are the light. His word is the light. It's what we speak. It's our life. It's our conversation. It's our lifeblood is his life. What pumps through our veins, the inward man is his word. And he keeps all things intact by his law by a perpetual decree that the, everything in us cannot go beyond the shores that have been perpetuated. And I thank Yah for keeping us. I thank the law for keeping me. Oh, hallelujah. Because without Messiah, how can I keep? How can it keep me? How can I cleave to it without Messiah, who is the power, who gives me power and the ability and the know-how to keep? So with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yah, but with the flesh, the law of sin. My flesh is calling out for this. And the Spirit is saying this. Messiah testifies this. To this end, Messiah says, was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. And, and, and at such a time as this, the truth is being manifested. It, the, the time is ripe. They're heaping up so many lies out there. But we as the people of Yah, the people of truth, ones that bear witness unto the truth, knowing that the truth is in us, that he is the truth, the way, and the life, and this must be manifested to the world as a testimony against them. To this end was Messiah born, and for this cause, came he into this world that he should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of. We think truth is some saying. No, truth has a body. Truth is an embodiment. Truth is an aspect of real life. Truth is a ministering spirit. Messiah said, I am the truth, and the word became flesh. And we beheld him as the only begotten of Yah, full of grace and truth. And this truth came to his own, and his own received him not. So he continues in his journey to pour out his soul unto death. While we were in all our lifetimes, 
in our sin, iniquity, and transgression, he was walking, walking out our love, walking out our peace, walking. For us, the children, we have been given to Messiah. When this really sinks in, when it really sinks in, for this cause, Romans 8, one chapter over. What shall we then say to these things? If Yah be for us, this is who, who, who can be against us. Think of that. When you come in any altercation, Yah is for me, Yah is for me, Yah is for me. I can rise above this hatred. I can rise above this bitterness. I can rise above this self-condemnation. Because yes. Yes. there's something in us that you're not allowing the arm of Yah to reach out and to let you be free. A lot, of, a lot of people in this body want to be free, but there's things in them preventing them to be free. They want to praise openly. Yeah. They want to take their whole being and, and just... Paraded before him like David did with all their might. Because <laughs> the thing which is empowering them is not the power of themselves, but the greater one that is in them. Yeah, he comes in the midst of us and starts declaring the name of the Most High. Yah. And the more we humble ourselves, the more praise, the more worship, the more adoration. And it's beautiful to have a place of repentance. That person can be on his knees, be on his belly, and pouring out his soul in travail and pain. And he does it, and she does it until the time the release comes. And it's something about that release, that beautiful release. Then once one knows in a doubt from the inward man, I have been delivered, I have been forgiven. So if Yah is for us, who can be against us? Has he spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all? How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yah's elect? Because it's Yah that justifies. We, we can't justify and sanctify ourselves as being children, as purchased possessions of Yah. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is Yah that justifies. Again, if Yah be for us, who can be in? Who is he that condemns? Who is he? What is it that condemning in you? Is, it is Christ that died, yeah, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yah, who also makes intercession for us, who, Almighty. who, He's asking who, for this cause, who, shall separate us from the love of Messiah, who, Think about it. Who? Got tribulation. Shall it separate us? Count distress. Shall it separate us? Persecution. Will it separate us? Or famine? Or nakedness? Or peril? Or sword? 
God be for us, who? 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 When these damn spirits present themselves, who are you? Come on. You're not, in tough spirit, you're not in that book. I don't know you. Uh-uh, I'm not sitting at the table with you, spirit. Uh-uh. Who are you? Yeah, be in that high place. And, and, and tell us, man, what the hell you come here to do? Take it at the gate. Take it at the door. Instead of sitting there and there and lullaby you, and you yeah, I know I did this, and I know I did that, yeah, I, I'm a terrible person, blah, blah, blah. Hell no. It's amazing we can be bold out there in that world. But in this, we got to be bold as a lion. Bold as a lion. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. There's not no boldness we can process or manifest. It's his boldness. We stand firm, rooted and grounded in truth. We are a manifestation of truth. If so be we allow him to work through us. Because we now are the body of Messiah. Receive it, receive it, receive it. There's war coming. War at the gates. Prepare for battle. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay! In all these things, we are more than conquerors. Why is this in our vocabulary? Well, I'm more than a conqueror. When the enemy comes, I'm more than a conqueror. Through him that loved us. And Paul says, and I say it. Even now, this day, for I am persuaded. Are you persuaded? Yes, sir. Do you believe the report? Yes. Is the all be all revealed to you? Yes. We here in our time and hour, the word is ramping up, even in Lions Den last night. Yes. Woo! Yes. We can just hear. Just hear what's on the horizon. The calling that's going out. As it getting closer, if we don't get in this thing, the door will be shut. And we need to be persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. Shall be able to separate us from his love. which is in Yeshua, our Savior. And in when the enemy encamps against you. Second Chronicles. Hear, O Israel! got to believe the report 
A report went last night out from the lion's den. How many heard? Only Yah knows. Second Chronicles 32. It says, After these things and the establishment thereof, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came and entered into Judah and encamped against the fenced cities and, and thought to win them for himself. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib was come and that he was purposed to fight against Jerusalem, he took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop the waters of the fountains which were without the city. And they did help him. So there was gathered much people together. Gathered much people together. Who stopped all the fountains and the brook that ran through the midst of the land, saying, Why should the kings of Assyria come and find much water? And he strengthened himself and built up the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and another wall without, and repaired Malo, the city of David, and made darts and shields in abundance. And he set captains of war over against the people, over the people, and gathered them together to him in the street of the gate of the city, and spake comfortably to them, saying, Be strong and courageous, be not afraid nor dismay for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than be with him. With him, with him, with Sennacherib an is an arm of flesh. Hear that? Hear that? With him is an arm of flesh. But with us, with us is Yahweh our Elohim to help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to fight our battles. And at these words, the people rested themselves upon these words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. And after this did Sennacherib, king of Assyria, send his servants to Jerusalem. But he himself laid siege against Lachish and all his power with him. Unto Hezekiah, king of Judah, unto all of Judah that were at Jerusalem, saying, Thus says Sennacherib, king of Assyria, Whereon do you trust? Whereon do you trust? That you abide in the siege in Jerusalem? Does not Hezekiah persuade you to give over yourselves to die by famine and by thirst? Saying, Yahweh Elohim shall deliver us out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Has not this same Hezekiah taken away his high places and his altars and commanded Judah and Jerusalem saying, You shall worship before one altar and burn incense unto it? Who? No. You not. What I and my fathers have done unto all the people of other lands, where the gods of the nations of those lands anyways able to deliver their lands out of my hand? Now therefore, let not Hezekiah deceive you, nor persuade you on this manner, neither believe you him, no God of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of mine hand and out of the hand of my fathers. Oh, how much less. 
How much less shall your Elohim deliver you out of my hand? And his servants spake yet more against Yahweh Elohim and against his servant Hezekiah. He wrote also letters to rail Yahweh Elohim of Israel and to speak against him saying, as the gods of the nations and of other lands have not delivered their people out of mine hands, so shall not the Elohim of Hezekiah deliver his people out of my hand. Then they cried with a loud voice in the Yehudim speech unto the people of Jerusalem that were on the wall to affright them and to trouble them that they might take the city. And they spake against the Elohim of Jerusalem and against the gods of the people of the earth, which were the works of the hands of man. And for this cause, Hezekiah the king and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos prayed and cried to heaven. And it says, And Yah sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of Valon. And the leaders and captains in the camp of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was come into the house of his mighty one, they that came forth of his own bow slew him there with the sword. Thus Yah saved Hezekiah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem from the hand of Sennacherib, king of Assyria and from the hand of all other, and guided them on every side. And, and, and many brought gifts unto Yah, to Jerusalem, to, and presents to Hezekiah, king of Judah, so that he was magnified in the sight of all nations from henceforth. Hallelujah. 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 The same shall be in our time if we come together. These bones shall live. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed Heavenly Father, in the name of Yeshua, thank you again, Most High Yah, for your life, for your love, for your word. You guide our feet. You guide our hands. You guide our lives. Because you are the life. And we thank you for that, Most High. You had us in mind from the foundation of the world, and we are so thankful and grateful. We will be this way till our dying day. Hallelujah. We will keep your faith, Most High Yah, and we will be a witness to this world that you are and will always be. You have been. Manifest to your body. Let it be so, Most High. This we do bow our knees and give you honor, thanks, and glory. Continue, Most High Yah, to feed us because I know you at your desire. Your thoughts towards us are thoughts of peace. And we are thankful for that each and every day if we just get our minds on that. If Yah, if you are for us, who can be against us? All things we commit into your hand, gratefully, Most High Yah, and thank you once and again. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless you, saints. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.